for the sign of Aries. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Aries in the recent past, Knight of Wands, I'm sorry, in the recent past, Knight of Pentacles, that's the card above the word past. And then we got the King of Cups. Now the Knight of Pentacles, it's showing that it's that it's about a stable, civilized type of energy. Um, this type of person is um, coming in with some type of message. And like I said, the communication is good. It's news that you want to hear. And so you could have had someone that was trying to reach out to you, someone that, that wanted to be with you. And like I said, the Knight of Pentacles is a really great card to get in a reading. It shows stability, and it also shows that um, um, Nine of Pentacles is about someone that would make a really good father. They're great father figure types. Now, because of the King of Cups, King of Cups is a great card also in the tarot. It speaks of a balanced male and feminine type of energy. He holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, he indicates, if it's indicating an actual person in your life or a man in your life, he will represent um, someone who's loving and kind and compassion. So this type of person is um, very warm, friendly, and tolerant. So, just know when you get the King of Cups, you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen. The King of Cups, it represents, like I said, kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is when you get this card. So, Aries, with the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Cups paired together, It's showing that you had a very civilized, stable connection. And this person wanted to offer you a cup of love. Could have been a new person or someone that you were dealing with. But um, yeah, it was a good relationship with these two cards showing up. This person wanted to offer you love and the connection, it felt like it was stable and civilized. It was good in the recent past. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what, for the present time, we have the Six of Swords and the Magician. Now the Six of Swords, it's about moving in the calmer waters. This could be with a situation or a person or something. Uh, you're no longer in stormy waters. Yes, yeah, so if you look at the picture, it looks like these people probably got out of a storm. But they're no longer there. They're, they're smooth sailing. Now it's with the magician card. Now the magician card. It signifies new beginnings, great expectations. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the greater world. And the, yeah. So if we simply try to make it a point to do so. So just know you will not have it all handed to you on the plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself because the magician is all about action. So if you do nothing, you get nothing, and if you don't know what to do, then just do something because anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. So Aries, it looks like there's someone that wants to come out of conflict with you. And they're manifesting a new beginning with you, or just in life overall. And they, they realize that they need to be at peace with maybe all the people around them, including you. So there's someone that you might have had conflict with, or could be your person you're dealing with. They want to manifest a new beginning with you, and they want to come out of whatever conflict the two of you are in. So you too, it looks like you will move in the calmer waters. So that's beautiful coming up for 
towards the last week of um, se September. Yes, yeah, somebody wants to manifest a great new beginning with you. Or this could be you. Just remember the roles can be switched. They can be roles reversed because these are general readings and they're not personal readings. So that's the present time. Let's see what the challenge is. We got this Knight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Now the Knight of Wands, with this card, it's a great time to travel. If you can manage to get away, you should be feeling charged up, full of energy, ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is increasing. And this should help reach towards any goals. The Knights, they, they're usually message bearers. And the message are, messages are likely positive and related to work or career. So any projects that you have, they're pro they should be moving right along. Or they would be more successful than you would have expected or predicted. So there's a lot of reasons to have pride. This Knight of Wands could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, it's with the Four of Pentacles, which is about unhealthy clinging. Because if you look at the picture of this card, this man, he's on all his, he's on all fours of his coins. His, when you hear the word Pentacles, that's money, cash, coins, finance. And he's, he's got his hands and feet on all fours. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head and his brain looks like it's about to explode. So it's about unhealthy clinging, holding on to things, money, people, situations, longer than is healthy or realistic. So it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an, in an unhealthy way. So for pinnacles, it points to anxiety and fear. It could be about money and a clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. The key is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. So these two cards are staying paired together, Knight of Wands and Four of Pentacles. It looks like this person that's reaching out to you to, to come out of a storm that you two were in, it looks like, well, this could be you or this could be a person. I'm going to say it's you. Because um, they've manifested the, the connection with you. Um, it looks like with the Knight of Wands here, you've got one foot in and you've got one foot out. And you're just clinging on to whatever makes you feel secure. And it doesn't look like you feel secure with this person. But you do, you do try to attempt to move into karma waters with them. But you're still not, you're not 100. You're not giving it your all. You got one foot in with this Knight of Wands and you got one foot out. That's what the Knight of Wands is about. It's an in and out type of energy. So you just cling on to what makes you feel safe. And this person doesn't really make you feel safe. So you might have agreed to come out of a storm with this person. But deep down inside, you're still holding on to... So some maybe some past hurt or something that this person did. So you just cling on to whatever makes you feel secure and it's not with this person. So like I said, you've got one foot in and one foot out. Now let's see what the outcome is. We've got the Queen of Wands and Page of Swords. Now the Queen of Wands, it can refer to a woman who has a lot of fire energy she could be aries leo sagittarius when it's not referring to an actual person it stands for getting a lot accomplished could be focused on work or career queen is really positive uplifting energy and when it stands for a woman in your life she's a good friend who is solidly on your side even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed also if you're trying to conceive and get the queen of wands this is one of the more positive signs that there can be. So, because this is with the Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords can stand for an actual person in your life. And if this is the case, it will represent a person who could be younger than you. 
Because when you hear the word page and material, that's a student, that's youth, that's immaturity, someone younger than you. Pages, they often indicate messages coming in. In this instance, because it's a page and he has a huge sword in his hand, it's probably not what you're hoping to hear. It tells you that this person could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or it might feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you might need to study their body language. So for this outcome, Aries, it looks like this person is very determined about you, very determined. Um, they just want to maintain peace. They probably can feel that you've got one foot in and one foot out. This could be a love interest, a friend or a family member. But they're determined to keep the peace, very determined. Um, this Queen of Wands, like I said, uh, could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a lot of fire type of energy. Could be egotistical, used to getting what they want, very confident type. Now, with the Page of Swords here, this person, they might try too hard. You know, you probably don't appreciate their approach because there's some immaturity here with this page. So they might start to keep tabs on you. They might start to watch you. They just do immature things. So that's that's another reason why you've only got one foot in and one foot out. So, and like I said, if this is not a love interest, it could be a friend or a family member. Because this reading, could, it, could, it sounds like it's going either, it could, it's going in any direction. It could be a love reading or a general reading, but it was intended to be a love reading. But it can't, for a lot of you, I'm feeling that this is, could be a friend or family member.